Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. Today is our restock. So I just ordered a lot of fibre. So, and it's just arrived and I thought you would like to see what I ordered. I ran out of the 18.5 micron merino in the new tops. So I ended up buying a heap. So I will be dyeing this lot up. I will have some available as um, dyed tops and also some as uh, custom orders. So that will be wonderful. So I'm pretty sure I ordered two kilos this time. Yeah. 18.5 micron merino. So soft. I ordered it from Cashmere Connect Connections. So for those that are waiting on some more hand dyed tops and bats and things, they will be probably another week or two away. Depends on how fast I can get the luxury stuff spun. Um, luxury stuff. Um, and how fast I can get this custom order I'm working on for another 300 grams of my signature signature yarn um, yeah and then I have another order I'll be um, spinning up which is a peacock colorway for another lady so I do have a lot of stuff going on at the moment um, and I also sprained my wrist which is making my production a lot longer than normal so um, in this baggie I have plans for more thick and thin with each of these little bundles of colourful fibre. Each bundle is 50 grams, which is plenty to make one skein of beehive and thick and thin. It also, they're also fantastic in bats so I have lots of bats and art yarns available soon these are all 50 gram bundles whoa that one's a pretty one real pale so I went for mixed colored tops so I could make some pretty cool looking thick and thin and beehive yarns out of them so they're pretty I bought these from fiber the fiber art shed here in Australia little cute little tight bundles um, I am going 
to put them into a plastic baggie so I can keep the bugs off and the moth out of my fiber. But number one. God, I keep pin these. That one was called Unicorn. This one's called Typhoon. Pretty. I bought some of this last time. I did an order with these guys. This one's Twinkle Twinkle Merino and Bamboo. It's the same colour as one I made up recently and sent off last week in a, a thick and thin. Same colour. I think it's the same fibre. Sorry, my straps keep falling. This one is called Bonnie Bee. It's merino plus bamboo. It's a pretty one. Very pretty. Rich orange. These are my budget yarns. These will be my budget yarns. This one is rainbow as well. So I wonder if it's the same colour as the other one. Oh no, the other one was a unicorn. Oh, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. Look at those colors can you imagine this as a beehive yarn the color pop this one's tempest A real silver grey charcoal one, very pretty. I'm thinking of adding some maybe some scraps to it when I plot when I when I start making it up and I add a little bit of Color pop. That or some of this one. It's got grey in it. Color pop. This one's called Passion. Little deep red. Quite pretty. 
I think I might need another bag. I'm filling it up. My apologies. Right up. going. I have another three. Another three to go. This one is Harmony. Turquoise, very pretty. Little note from the seller. This one's ice and fire. Whoa, that's different. Ice and fire. And last but not least is Heavenly. That is beautiful. Very beautiful. So if you like any of these colors, let me know and I will spin them up for you or you can order them as a different type of spin um, so my idea was thick and thin beehives because of the color pop it's the best way to show the um, color variance in these type of fiber but if then if you make them into single ply or a two ply yarn you start to lose the color pop and it starts to go muddy so when you're spinning it as a thick and thin you have these big puffs of color pop and then it'll be a more like a muddy blended color for in between the thick bits but yet yeah, so pretty as a thick and thin and a beehive that's my idea what I want to use them for however the option is there for the buyer if they would like them to be spun up as a single or a two ply yarn however if you do love a color after it's made up and you would all like to order some I can order more so that is an option these were samples, like, I bought 50 gram lots as samples to see what the colours were like. Um, because sometimes when you're ordering online, it's always a bit more brighter than what the actual product is. So, I like to order the small bundles first. And then if I like the colour, I'll go back and I will order more in a larger quantity. So that's my little haul. I think I got 200 grams in this one. Two, one, two, three. About 300 grams. So I got 500 grams all up. I like it. And then I will be playing it with all these pretties at the back here 
one of these to match. So I love to I love to use the threads for plying. It allows me to get more meters from my yarn and I use up less fiber, which means it's cheaper for the buyer. Um, my project for today is I will be spinning up a gradient um, in Inferno which is cashmere fling Um, which is cashmere, bamboo, tinsel, and glitz. So it'll be a gradient, a long gradient. So red, orange, and brown from start to finish. And then I will be selling it. Um, Got to get in quick because this fiber sells real fast. Um, probably a single ply, uh, which will make this yarn around $43 once it's finished. So if you love these colors and you want to snap this one up, send me a message. Otherwise, it will sell. I saw the last two uh, within... Well, the first one I sold within five seconds of me putting it up. The second one was a couple days, it being up. Um, my third one is still available, which is a brown colored one. My third one is this one, it is a brown, um, different shades of brown and grey, and I've called this Ghost Gum. This is quite beautiful. It is a eight ply single spun, single ply spun yarn. So I will be putting that one up on my Etsy shop in probably a week. I need to wash and set them first. Uh, what else? Nothing else much has happened except for me spinning and selling a lot of stuff. Um, I sent off a few orders in the last two weeks, two, three weeks. Um, I sprained my wrist, so it's been really touch and go with what type of spins I can do. At the moment, I'm struggling with two ply. Um, I can spin single ply yarns. Um, and thick and thin, but that's about it. Um, so the more intricate um, spins I can't do at the moment. So I'm trying to work out what type of videos I could do for you guys um, that's not going to be competitive or all the same every week. I'll probably do some more carding videos. Um, there is some more blending on the uh, blending hackle and some more single ply and um, thick and thin beehives. Um, if you do want to see me do anything in uh, particular you can comment below and let me know and I will work on doing a video for you um, 
I was thinking of videoing this one here, the Gradient um, Inferno one. And I am also making a video at the moment for the peak, uh, the uh, Lagoon one. So hopefully I'll have another video up after this uh, restock video. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, and bye for now. Bye.